Hey guys, so this is just a little uh, soon to come video. Uh, I've been having lots of requests for how to set up a saltwater fish tank. So one of my next videos, which it actually will be my very next video, I hope to get it up maybe tonight, maybe not till tomorrow. I've been just really busy the last couple days. I've had a lot of pet stuff, a lot of cleaning, a lot of moving people around or pets around and uh, just been really busy, you know. So I haven't got up too many videos at all in the last couple days. But one of my next videos, like I said, is going to be a how to set up a saltwater tank. I'll be going over how to set up, you know, what you need for a saltwater tank. The sand, the live rock, the live sand, uh, different types of saltwater tanks. You know, there's fish only tanks, which are the easiest to do. There's coral tanks, which are a lot harder to do. You need more equipment, you need better lighting. They're more expensive, but they're more rewarding in some ways because you got more stuff in the tank. It's a little bit prettier. Uh, my tank is pretty much a fish-only tank. You know, I have a couple inverts. I've had that hermit crab and stuff. My tank's pretty much a fish-only tank, though. Um, don't have any corals or anemones in there right now. But I'll be going over the differences in the two, what you need for each type, what type of supplies you need to keep your saltwater tank healthy, and hope to be doing that, like I said, maybe tonight if I can get it done. I've started it, but I'm not done with the video yet, so when I get that done, we'll get that up. And then my next video, <coughs> one of my next videos, is going to be on this plane, which you guys have seen before. Alright, remember this plane? It's the F-15C. Now if you remember, the elevators on this plane, which were the whole, whole horizontal stab, they were completely horrible. It came with completely, completely horrible elevators. They just wobbled around. If you just tapped them this hard, like barely at all, they wobbled. They would not have held up to any wind resistance in the air, and they would have caused a crash. It's like they want you to crash their planes. So, I ripped off the original elevators, and I went ahead and bought myself some E-Flight F-15 elevators. So these are the correct horizontal stabs and elevators, but they're working different. These came in one piece. The whole elevator or horizontal stab is supposed to move. I couldn't set these new elevators up to do that. It didn't fit right in the hole it, and it, it was going to be wobbly like the last ones based on how it's all set up. So what I did is I went ahead and glued the horizontal stabs to the body of the plane and they are tight in there. No movement. So they're not, they're not moving from the wind. And then I simply cut the elevator off on each side so it's separated from the stab. And then I connected the elevator to the horizontal stab again with, <laughs> let me get it up here. I know this camera's not so good, it's my webcam. I'm just recording at my computer here right now. I connected the horizontal stab to the elevator with two metal hinges that I get, just got at uh, Home Depot, you know, just normal, uh, little hinges and there's one right here and one right here it's hard to see maybe but they are right under my finger there and right under my finger here and then if you see right under my finger here and right under my finger here see these white lines going down sorry here and here those are zip ties if you know you know what zip ties are I wonder if I have any behind me uh, I don't see any behind me right now but zip ties are those little things that you it's like a you click in and then it click 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 clicks and it's kind of like a tie I cut those short and I pushed them into the foam on each side that just provides some extra strength other than just the hinges and they're bendable so it, it can move up and down no problem and it's really stuck on so no problem with that falling off and uh, it's all set up and ready to go I got my push rods on and we'll just move the servo here so you can see it move get in the camera here Hold on. So it's all set up, ready to go. Have plenty of uh, movement there, I think. So uh, we'll try to get this out and uh, get that flying. Now I don't know if I said this because I, I, I think I did. I don't recommend you get this plane or any plane from, for that matter, from these companies. But this is my very last purchase. I got it a couple weeks ago, and I haven't flown it yet my very last purchase from either of those companies. I'm talking about Nitro Planes or Banana Hobby. But we'll get it in the air and see if it lasts. I, uh, I don't expect it to, but I expect to get at least a couple good flights out of it before something fails. 
So uh, we'll get a flight video of it and let you guys see how it flies. I'm kind of excited because, like I said, it's my first uh, first plane with retracts. And, you know, the retracts are cheap retracts. It's, you know, nothing special. It's plastic and you know, it's, not, it's not like really high quality retracts or anything. But they do work, you know. We'll see how they hold up to uh, normal landings. We'll see if they do well. But um, that's my next two videos. So see you guys soon, and I'll get those videos up as soon as I can.